Welcome to Morningstar. I'm Holly Black. With me is Jose Garcia Zarate. He's Associate Director of Passive Strategies at Morningstar. Hello. Hello. So we've got some quite big news in the passive investment world, a possible merger of two providers. What's happening? Yes, Amundi and Lixor uh, have uh, basically entered into uh, exclusive talks uh, uh, whereby Amundi would buy Lixor, which currently is the second largest ETF provider in Europe. And the combined mass of those two companies would uh, consolidate Amundi's uh, foothold in the ETF market. So is this a surprise or were we expecting this? There have been indications uh, uh, of, uh, of over the past few months of, of a potential uh, divesting by uh, Societe Generale, which is the parent company of Lixor. Of, uh, and so it doesn't entirely come as a shock. Uh, perhaps uh, the... It's good to fi have final confirmation that this is actually going on rather than just relying on rumors. So one thing we have to consider when fund groups merge is whether there's a lot of overlap in their products and that could you know, result in mergers of funds or wind-ups of funds. Is that the case here? That would be a highly likely scenario. Uh, uh, and both Amundi and Lixor are what you would class as generalist ETF providers, meaning that they want to offer all sorts of things to all sorts of clients. And therefore, there would be a, quite a bit of overlap in terms of product a lineup between the two. So overall, do you see this merger as being a good thing for investors? That's perhaps debatable because, you know, uh, theoretically you would think that the more the choice, the better for investors. But it is also true that at the top of the European ETF market and the way that the market is developing, there probably isn't much room for too many generalist providers. So what we have at the moment is a group of companies which, as I said, want to sell everything to everybody. And Amundi basically falls into that category. And then you've got another group of providers which are more specialist houses, which, uh, you know, sell niche uh, products. And obviously, you mentioned that this would strengthen Amundi's market share and market position. Is that a competition concern? Well, obviously, any merger will have to be uh, approved by the regulators. And I would think that uh, in this case, it would be mostly sort of like the French regulator because both uh, are French companies and they have a, a, an important footprint in the French market. But things like this have happened in the past. So it's not unusual. Uh, and uh, at the moment, I uh, uh, so the expectation is that you know the the merger will will be completed. So crucially, if I'm an investor in any Amundi or Lixor funds, what does it mean for me? Do I have to do anything? At the moment, no, because we are at the very, very early stages of what is the final uh, negotiation. We obviously at Morningstar uh, do rate quite a few uh, ETFs from uh, both Amundi and uh, Lixor, and we will keep uh, an eye on developments, uh, particularly to see if there are changes in, uh, you know, the, the uh, that might affect, uh, the, you know, the, the tracking ability of, of of those ETFs. For example, whether what's going to happen with the portfolio management teams. Uh, but as I said, you know, we are at the very early stages of, of this final negotiation, and so for the moment, it's just uh, a question of uh, sit and wait uh, for developments. Jose, thank you so much for your time. For Morningstar, I'm Holly Black.